Tina is one of thousands of women taking advantage of a scientific revolution. After giving birth to her son, Andre, stem cells were extracted from the umbilical cord and frozen. In theory, the cells can be used to defend either her, Andre, or any future child from anything from cancer to acne. A woman has the opportunity, maybe only once in her lifetime, to make such an investment for the future. And now here on Moscow's stock exchange, many others will get a chance to invest in stem cell research. The Human Stem Cell Institute, the nation's leading stem cell company, has become the first to sell shares on a newly opened market for innovative technologies. The millions of dollars generated will be ploughed into research. Stem cells act as a repair system for the body. When transplanted into a sick patient, they have the potential to renew damaged or diseased organs. They can be extracted from adult donors and more controversially from human embryos. But at the Institute, cells are taken at the moment we enter the world. They're then sent here for storage. There are more than 8,000 frozen samples here, each taken from an umbilical cord shortly after birth. Umbilical blood has less chance of being rejected by a patient because babies have a less aggressive immune system. Today, the Russian market growth for the services we provide, the taking of cord blood stem cells and the storing of them, is faster than that of Europe and the US. It costs clients an initial $2,000 to freeze their cells and a further 130 a year to store them. But while the benefits are perceived to be great, one of the country's leading neurologists, a stem cell scientist himself, says the research is still in its infancy. This is a big problem worldwide. All the banks collect cells. They take money and talk about their research and amazing future prospects on the way. But in reality, there are no firm results in clinical tests so far. But while there remains potential, regardless of how far off it may be, more and more people are paying to store umbilical blood in the hope of a miracle cure. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Moscow.